Well, if you have honestly found love again, then I couldn't be happier for you. Well, there's no ifs. Uh, Kate is the woman I want to spend the rest of my life with. I'm sorry if that's sounding condescending. No. I didn't mean it that way. I don't know, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt. Kate's not like Carly. I mean, we support each other. We, we don't tear each other down to prove our love because it's already there without the pain and the anger. But love can be confusing even at the best of times. But I'm not mixed up here. Isn't that like a manic thing? Yeah, but you seem to think that I, I don't know how I really feel about the woman I'm marrying. No, I just no, I know did. how you are when you lose someone that you love. Yeah? I've, I saw you go through it with Stone. Michael was your son. Adopted or not. So, your feelings for Kate aside, is it, is it possible that you're drawn to a life with her because it has nothing to do with your painful history with Carly? So, we should just focus on Crimson tonight. Okay, if anybody asks to confirm rumors of my engagement, just say no comment and leave it at that. When did marrying Sunny become a secret? I, I... No, it's not a secret. It's just that in this business, one should keep a mystique about these things. Oh. Showing up at a splashy party with a ring on my finger, refusing to confirm or deny rumors of engagement will only generate a buzz. My upcoming nuptials, by extension of the magazine, will be all that anyone is talking about until the official announcement is made, which should coincide with the premiere issue of Crimson. Uh, I'm getting a little confused. Are you marrying Sunny out of love or because it will generate publicity? You did not just ask me that. Okay, I'll just... Look, lie. Jax, for both of us, Fortunately, one is a byproduct of the other, right? right? You get a sizable return on your investment. I get to have a successful career and a very, very satisfying personal life. Well, I have to tell people that I'm already happily married to be taken off the, the potential husband list, you know. I don't want my wife reading about my supposed engagement to another woman and just wouldn't be right, so I can't really go along with that. Okay, don't, so, don't move. What? I, stop it! I lost my ring, and if it falls between the cracks, we're gonna have to pull the whole car apart, and I don't want to do that. So oh. I say, Jax, this is... Okay, 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 yeah. Still. Okay. I felt so, um, empty when Stone died. It didn't seem fair that I had to go on living when all I really wanted to do was just lay down and cry. Who would have blamed you? Stone deserved better than that. Yeah. He wanted me to go on. He wanted me to live out my dreams and our dreams. But, you know, everywhere I went, it was a reminder of him, some smell or something. It just became too much. I felt really alone when all I had around me was love and support. You and, and Brenda. We tried. Which I'm sure is what a lot of people who love Michael are trying to do with you, but it doesn't really help, does it? No. It didn't help me either. Nothing really helped me until I met Jason. And that was because he was completely unconnected to Stone's life. There were no good intentions or sad looks. I could just relax and, and be with him. I mean, don't get me wrong, the pain did not go away, but it gave me something else to focus on. Someone new to get to know and to spend time with. You know, it's not really the same because Kate was there when life got shut. She f felt his loss too. Yeah, but he was not the center of her world like he is with you and Carly. You don't have to take care of her feelings. She's free to take care of yours, to distract you and love you. Marrying Kate represents a whole new direction in your life, which is something you need right now. Kate and I are connected in a way that I, I can't explain. Familiar, comfortable. Like you know her in a past life or something. Yeah, something like that. 
I just want her with me in this one. Well, then I guess congratulations are in order. <sighs> All right, well, I gotta get back to the hospital, and you have a wedding to plan. Yeah, I just, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know where to start, you know, it's like... Okay, well, what do you think? What kind of food would you and Kate have enjoyed in your past life? Italian. Well, there you go. That's a good start. <laughs> uh, you know, I, uh... I really hope this works out for you. You deserve to be happy. Kate, we're here. Any luck? No. <laughs> Why don't you let me help him find her? Oh, wait, wait, I see it, I see it. What? Okay, wait. just don't move, all right? Okay, it's okay, gonna okay, fall okay, between okay, the cracks. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> just okay. hurry up and get it. All right, I think I can get it. Okay. Just... Almost. Almost, I got it. <sighs> Kate? Yes, again. What are you doing here? Everybody already thinks I'm a slut. Why not be with a man who brings it out of me? Who likes me more because of it? So, here I am, ready, willing, and most definitely able. <laughs>